Hello everybody, Mino Storm here. Welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. In the last episode, uh, we uh, got our farm here up and running. Uh, we built this supermarket here that took the stress off of uh, that shopping center and has largely resolved the issues that we were having there. There's still a few a little bit... Um, like they're not participating in sport, but I think we did just come... No, no, it's July. Um, and... Uh, we set up these apartment buildings to build. They're obviously built now. I ran the... Uh, I ran the game forward a bit. We're now up to 6.6 .6 million rubles, which is good. And... Yeah. Pretty much about it. We kind of almost ran out of money. I had to force some stuff to export. So, yeah. We're, we're doing okay now. So, as I said, off-screen, I ran things for it a little bit. We got some money back. I actually set up the helicopter to transport workers from that point to over here. To hopefully get more consistent workers into the steel mill. Because um, that is an important piece of infrastructure that we need running. Also off-screen, I set up um, a point... Well... A new trolley bus line to grab workers from here and here and drop them off over here. So we are now getting some workers into the cement plant and into the prefab panels factory. So we're actually making prefab panels now. And in fact, what I need to do is change a couple of things. One, you need to grab your prefab panels from there. And I need a truck. I need a open hull truck to grab prefab panels from here and to drop them off there. And then we need to take a look at this line. Not the warehouse. We need the open storage. Right. Right now we're unloading everything. Right now what we want to do is we want to load prefab panels, not unload prefab panels. There we go. All right, and so our harvest should be starting here soon, yes? Yep. Combines are on their way. In fact, I am going to go ahead and say one, two, three, four, and get one, two, three, four more covered hulls. We want to make sure that we harvest and transport this stuff. Very very efficiently or quickly all right now what we need is I need a train I need an electric locomotive that is cheap what's our cheapest electric locomotive this is our cheapest electric locomotive I think I've actually been using these, right? Yeah, we'll use this one. And we need a cargo wagon that can carry 
rain. Boxcars can carry crops. Fifty five tons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go with six boxcars. All right, your orders. going to be to head here and load grain and wait till you're loaded yes wait till you're loaded and then I want you to go here and unload grain half of your grain and then go here and unload everything else Four hundred forty-six citizens cannot participate in sport. Mm. Not able to enjoy culture. Mm. Probably because they have no footpath to get where they need to go. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, they should be able to get here. Unable to visit Pub Tavern. Unable to enjoy culture. Okay. Um, they have been able to get food. So they are getting. Oh. I see what the problem is. Yeah, that that's going to be an issue. Uh, let's see. 405 visitors in this shopping center. Is there anywhere I can fit this? Um... I don't think so. Um, hmm. Yeah, but you guys aren't able to, well, that, that's because, again, that's, that's what the problem is here, is they're, we're waiting so long in line to get food that they can't do anything else. Workshop, um, the modded buildings. Sixty visitors, one hundred forty-four visitors, four hundred and eighty visitors, four hundred and eighty visitors. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop it right in there. How much is it gonna cost? Two hundred seventy-one grand. Yes.
I'm going to use a gravel road. I've also got to check the power requirements in here. Let's also tell people from here to work there. Okay, that should start taking some pressure off of that shopping center. Hopefully that will be enough. Now, what I'm also going to need to do is we have you. We need to add that. Unload food. Right, yes. And then we need this. Unload meat. And we need this. To unload clothes. So that should hopefully get some deliveries. Electricity problem. Speaking of electricity problem, where are we getting power? Okay. 144%, 91%, 187%. Okay, so we need to find places to provide more club stations. Um, particularly over here. Right here. Let's get a medium voltage switch. percent 113 percent 157 percent so we need still another one all right um these wires should still be able to carry plenty of juice
All right, it's still not perfect, but it's close enough, I think. Yep, there we go. We've taken the load off. Perfect. And that means that you guys can start going to the cinema and going to the tavern and all the other stuff that you need to do. Very good. Citizen's happiness too low. What? Two hundred citizens currently without power. Oh! Never put power in here? E yeah. Okay. Um, mistake. I forgot to put power in there. It would also help if I actually built the transformer. There you go. Yeah, so I did actually hook up the power. Oh no, this, uh, this thing will be built. There we go. Um, yeah, I didn't actually hook up the power, I just didn't actually build the transformer. Whoops. Well, that should hopefully solve the problem. are harvesting. The train is filling up. Ooh, I think we don't have this signaled correctly. No, we do not. Okay. Um, we need bi-directional there. No, other way around. That sectioned off. And I think we want sectioned off there. Okay. Yep, it looks like the load has come through. And it did exactly what it was supposed to with only half of its load there. It didn't overload too much. It did not overload too much. Good. Limit the amounts we want. We're not doing alcohol. We're not doing fabric. We're not doing food. That's all going. All that kind of stuff is going over here. 
This is a fabric factory and a clothing factory, right? So the only things that we're going to be putting in here are going to be... Well, we're going to need some props. We're not going to have alcohol, we're not going to have food, we're not going to have electronic components, we're not going to have mechanical components, we're not going to have plastics, we're not going to have electronics. Everything else, though. Okay, so the only thing that these guys now need is gravel. Which I need four dumpers for that. I am kind of tearing through my gravel, but that's... Okay. Uh, we're going to be using these. One, two, three, four. Right. So you are going over here to grab gravel. Right. Gravel. And then you're going there to unload gravel. And wait till you're unloaded. You going over there to load gravel. Then you're going over here to unload the gravel and wait till you're unloaded. stone. It's basically, train is waiting too long. Why is a train waiting too long? Oh, because we have this mess going on. Alright. Um. Uh, what happens if I make this a chain signal? Doesn't do anything there. Right, what I basically just had to do is that. And that'll clear the blockage. I'm trying to think if I want to export this grain.
This is gonna show up, it's gonna be full. It all depends on how quickly we actually burn through the props. Because our chemical plants are now up and running. Now, my intention had been to use a train to move the chemicals over here. But I think we're going to use a truck. I think the only thing that you are going to be loading over here is chemicals. I don't think you need any of this, any of that. Alright, because this is going to produce the aluminum oxide. We just need the chemicals. Chemicals to make the aluminum oxide. We need chemicals to make the actual aluminum. If we can get the chemicals over here, then we are good. Plastic factories. Okay. Do we know how much this actually consumes? Maximum consumption at the consumption of maximum production. Two point six tons. 2.5 tons. 3 tons, 3 tons. Point 0.5 tons. Okay. Four trucks. Four trucks. Covered hulls. One, two, three, four trucks. Alright, so you are going to go here. And you're going to load chemicals. You're going to go there and you're going to unload chemicals. And you're going to wait till you're unloaded. Do it. Actually, we're going to need a fifth truck. Covered hull. You are going to go here, you're going to load chemicals, you're going to go there, you're going to unload chemicals. You're going to wait till you're unloaded, and go. Alright, you're going to go here, and you're going to load chemicals, and you're going to go there, and you're going to unload chemicals, and wait till unloaded. Go. Okay. You are going to go here, load chemicals, and then you're going to go there and unload chemicals and wait till you're unloaded. Go. Then you are going to go here, and you're actually going to load the grain. You're going to take it there, and you're going to unload the grain and wait your way to unload it. And go. The train is waiting too long again. Why?
Okay, because we're blocking signals. All right. Um... There we go. That should fix that problem. Yeah, I know. There's trains waiting too long. You just go. There we go. Why are you confused? Like, really? Why are you confused? I think we have just way too many signals in here. Turn that into a block. That should hopefully work. some chemicals. But we don't have any workers. Okay. Let's put a footpath there. There we go. Workers. Okay, so that's up and running. We're actually starting to make some aluminum oxide, which means we're going to hopefully produce our first aluminum very soon. making plastics. Alright, perfect. I think this is where we're going to end the episode. And, uh... We'll set up some more of the distribution here, because now we need to move the plastics up here to make our electronics. Electrical, well, electronic components. Um, electrical components. Some steel. That's fine. We can bring some steel. Get this these guys fired up. Get them running. And I think that's just about everything. And hopefully these chemical plants can keep up. Alright. But for now, we'll stop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.